Hey guys, welcome to another Anon Green video. Today we are looking at the rare assault rifle, the sweeper within Mass Effect Andromeda multiplayer. Sorry these reviews haven't been coming out too consistently recently. It truly does depend on how I how quickly I unlock guns now because I only have six more to go and once they are all unlocked I will make sure to drop their reviews. But anyway, the sweeper has 64 damage, a rate of fire of 450, a max clip size of 18, accuracy of 70, weight of 25 and obviously infinite max ammo because it is a remnant weapon. As per usual there are no modifications on the weapon or skills invested in my character to improve it in any way. So without further ado, let's get into how it performs. And I'm going to argue the sweeper is an average assault rifle compared to Andromeda standards which obviously means that it isn't too good. It follows that usual assault rifle trend where they're not really a gun I'd recommend using in multiplayer and that is just due to many key issues and the first one obviously being that damage of 64. 64 damage per bullet is extremely low. Each time you fire it is 3 round burst so you are doing about 192 damage per a burst and you can do that 5 times, 6 times within the max clip size of 18 if you've got 3 round burst before the gun overheats. So you are not doing very much damage at all per a magazine, well technically a magazine if you were to fire this all the way down to the bottom, I know it's, it's an ammo weapon, but it just doesn't feel like it's doing damage, you're putting in bullet after bullet uh, in that three round burst and it just feels like it isn't taking down very much of an enemy's health and this can lead you into a few problems. So I'm going to skip rate of fire for a minute and just go to that max clip size. Obviously you have 18 bullets you can fire before it overheats, obviously if you don't shoot that overheating process will not take place and your cooldown will go back up to 100% etc but I feel that this gun is extremely misleading just because you fire so many of those free round bursts and you see that percentage go down to the point where it nearly overheats and you just want to keep putting more bullets in this gun feels like it doesn't do enough damage before it overheats you find yourself pumping in loads of bullets and then as you can see you pump in too many you've overheated and you still haven't really tainted or damaged that enemy's health bar and it's so annoying just because the gun doesn't do very much damage and because it can overheat you end up do putting in too many bullets because you do get frustrated you're like come on I'll just put in a few more bullets to get this enemy's health down a bit more and then you find that you've overheated the gun and that was really annoying I don't think you can get out off enough shots to seriously damage an enemy before this gun overheats which is a problem and it's not a problem I found with very many remnant weapons usually I compliment remnant weapons about how good they are how the fact you can often put quite a few bullets into an enemy wait a second get to its uh, so it doesn't overheat back to 100% and then you find that you can just keep firing again it's really effective with this gun this isn't effective because you end up shooting enemies you're in their face because it's an assault rifle and then you have to either overheat the gun to try and do a little bit more damage to that enemy maybe take out that minimal bit of health bar they have left or you find you have to stop for a second wait for that cooldown process so it doesn't overheat so it goes back up to 100% and you find yourself just putting yourself in harm's way. So I did not like this assault rifle just because of that, just because it didn't feel like you could get enough bullets off before it overheated or before you had to stop, but to stop it from overheating, if that makes sense to you guys. It's accuracy, it had a lot of recoil and it wasn't extremely accurate. Also, it doesn't fire very far. You have to be quite close to your enemies to be doing a considerable amount of damage. So that is a problem. I guess a semi-redeeming factor is weight of 25. That isn't a very high weight considering I know there are guns with a lot lower weight, weights than this, but it's not in that high bracket of 50 plus, etc. And obviously it's max ammo, I've mentioned that in the clip size, the max ammo, although it's infinite, it, you do find yourself having to overheating and having to wait for this gun to cool down a lot, just because it feels like you're not doing enough damage. On silver, which this gameplay is recorded on, I found myself just having to put too many bullets into enemies, even your, your basic brute enemies to kill them and that was really annoying it meant that I felt useless to my team I'm not saying that I finished below on the leaderboard I was still quite high up but I was carrying quite a shitty team in this gameplay so if you're one of the players but it does feel like this is just a spray and pray weapon it feels like you can't really concentrate your fire to kill a single enemy just because a that will take too long and b it feels like a gun that you just need to kind of spray out there just because of the accuracy so overall I'm going to say the sweeper isn't great and I wouldn't recommend it. However, we do have a new patch coming out soon that will see many multiplayer guns redone. Absolutely get buffs 
the whole lot so maybe this gun will be redeemed by the patch that I did a video on previously if you haven't seen that video do check it out it details everything Bioware told us about the new multiplayer balancing patch so hopefully when I come to re review this gun like I will most guns it will be effective but at current I am not a massive fan of it and it falls into that assault rifle trap as per usual as per every other assault rifle on the game so there we go like comment subscribe all that jazz and have a nice day